After you start SMART, then you want to start blogging to reach your goals. If you are going to put the investment in time for your blog, you want to make sure that your blog posts are helping your company reach its goals. Now, what are blogging goals? You know, what kind of things are, are realistic to have for blogging? Well, to introduce your brand. If you are starting a new blog, the first thing you want to do is introduce yourself. So that's certainly a goal that you'll have. Drive traffic to your website or to your brick and mortar business. That's definitely something that you can do with a blog. Uh, and we're going to look at the type of content that you will do that with in just a minute. Uh, if you have a new product or service and you want to launch it, the first place you want to talk about it is your blog. Uh, if you want to write a how-to article to educate your audience or record a video, the first place you're going to put it is on your blog. Your blog is, is uh, the very first place you want to go for your content. Even though this is socialmediaonlineclasses.com, your blog is the only thing in online marketing that you own. You control it and you own it. So anything that you do starts with your blog and then you can push it out to different social networks. But everything starts with your own blog and website. You can also increase your sales with your blog and I'm going to show you all how to do that. So how do you create blog posts to support your goals? Well, you start with the end in mind. So when you sit down on your day to write a blog post, don't, don't think, okay, what am I going to write today? Think about what, what is your goal? Okay, what is your goal for this blog post? And that's what you, that's the end you want to keep in mind. And what I recommend is create your call to action in that blog post first and work backwards from there. And I'm going to show you some examples. If you want to launch a new offering, let's say you're, you've got a new product or service and you want to announce it to the world and you're really excited, the first thing that you're going to do is announce it on your blog. Uh, I did this last year when I offered certification at socialmediaonlineclasses.com. That was a very, very big deal because I offer certification for under a thousand dollars that you can get in 30 days so basically you can get social media certified with zero debt and so I wrote a blog post about it and then I turned that blog post into a permanent page on our website and every week I tweet this out I don't just write it and leave it alone I am constantly tweeting about this, sharing about it on social media. I continue to promote this blog post long after I've written it. And so it gets a lot of SEO love from this blog post. I get people searching for online social media certificate because I did my SEO homework. Now, I'm not going to talk about um, how you do that in this blog post. We have, I mean, in this webinar, we have the SEO 101 online class and also multiple bonus webinars on SEO. So you need to watch those. But when you write your blog post, you want to keep your, your keywords and your SEO in mind. And I'm going to go into more detail uh, about specific blog posts for that. Sometimes you just want to get traffic. And that could be traffic to your brick and mortar location, or it could be traffic to your website or blog. I will tell you the, the, a couple of ways that are the best ways to do this. Um, if you are looking to get people into your store, into your brick and mortar location, one of the best ways to do that is by doing a Groupon type offer. I'm not saying do a Groupon. You don't have to do it through Groupon. And in fact, I don't recommend Groupon. I used to run them. I'm not saying I don't, you know, I don't appreciate my Groupon customers. I do. Um, but it actually hurt my SEO. So I stopped offering it. However, uh, offer a coupon 
on your website. You know, create a, a coupon, uh, have people print it out or show it to you on their smartphone when they come in. That will drive traffic to your store. You can also have a flash sale and do it on your blog post. Um, I used to do a summer flash sale that was literally the highest grossing promotion I've ever done. And I always announced it on my blog. That was how people bought it. And that would increase my sales like nothing else. If you want to drive traffic to your website or blog, then what I recommend is that you write about a common topic. And this is a blog post that I did on how to find anything using a Google search. Uh, and I intentionally wrote this with the goal of getting people who were searching for something online. Because some of those would be my customers. I knew they wouldn't all be, but some of them would be my customers. And I now rank number one in Google for how to find anything in an online search. And that was through this particular blog post. And then lastly, you can also introduce your brand. And that's simply a matter of writing a blog post or doing a video, whatever is your, your easiest form of content. And introduce your staff. You know, just say hello. This is our first blog post. We're excited. You know, this is what we're looking to do with our blog. Let us hear from you. You know, make it a conversation. Now, you'll notice here that um, these are all written blog posts. That's because that's my easiest form of content to do. But you want to do the form of content that is easiest for you to create. It doesn't have to be a written blog post. It could be a video, which is called a vlog, instead of B-L-O-G. It's V as in Victor, L-O-G. You could do a weekly vlog. You could do an, a photo blog. Uh, I have a client who is one of the top quilt designers in the world, and she is on the road 50 weeks out of the year. She knows she needs to blog, but she really hates doing it. So what we came up with was a way for her to post a photo to her blog of where in the world is Sue this week. And her students love that. They love to see where she is, you know, what class she's going to, and it also helps sell her classes.